YouTube, 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 YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, ADR. Welcome. Hi, guys. Yeah. And she always heard in the worst way. So look, you're here, hopefully, because if you want to know how to style Birkenstocks, um, that's what I'm here to do. I was going to review the Birkenstocks for you, but I actually got these Birkenstocks like a while ago and I threw away the box. So uh, I can't show you the box. I only can show you the shoe. So uh, one thing that I'm gonna tell you about the shoe, they're really comfortable. I have the shoes on now, actually. I wear these a lot. I wear these shoes a lot. Um, they're very comfy. They break in pretty easily. I know people be like, oh, they take forever to break in. Uh, they don't. They don't come in half sizes, so that sucks. If you need a half size, you're out of luck. You gotta get either too big or too small. I would go with too big. The one, the one thing that I would tell you guys, because we're getting straight in this, apparently. So the one thing that I would tell you guys to get is like the waterproof stuff, the stuff that you can get the water. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, I don't feel like doing it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all, but just not right now. Um, look at this. Look at this. You see how this drops? I don't know if you guys can see that. Gravity comes into play and it drops. So this is regular. I turn it upside down. It drops. So I would get the leather ones. The le well, these are these are leather too, but these are like canvas kind of. I would get the ones that's like like sturdy, like the low, like the actual, like the the ones that don't drop. This one. This drops the ones that don't push in like that, and the reason why is because I'm lazy. Look, look, just look at me, just look at me. So I, I put them on the ground, right? I put them on the ground. I be trying to put my foot in it. I be like, oh shit, I got it. That look, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That was probably the easiest I've ever got my foot in there since I had these shoes. I'm not gonna cap to you. That's like the easiest I've ever. Why is it tilting like that? That's the that's the easiest I've ever had to put my shoes on like that. I hate when it does that. You, know, you ever have something, you, you gotta show somebody something, you're like, bro, look, look, I hate when it does this, help when it do this. And then it works when you show the person that. That's what just happened with these. Basically, just take my word for it. They're hard to they're hard to put on, like, well, not mine. If you don't use your fan, your hands, it's hard to put on. I just realized I'm being lazy this entire time. I could put my hand, I could use my hands to put my burger side on. But there's slides, who, who, who put slides on that to put your hand? Like, imagine you have to put use your hand for every pair of slides you have. That's the only problem. Birkenstock, they just hard to put on sometimes. Uh, the sizing is prop fine. They fit well. Um, I, they're comfortable, but I can walk. I can walk a hundred miles in these new batons. Oh, you wanna see the fit? This is one of the fits. Um, they're really easy to style. Only reason why I don't like this fit that I have on is because the blue don't go with it. Like it's too many colors. It's one, two, three, four colors. It's not really that much. But just like the shoe, like the bottom portion of my outfit goes. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the bottom half of my outfit, it goes. It goes fine. It's just this, the top half that, that I don't like. But um, I'm gonna show you another, I'm gonna show you a video of like my alternative. Like the other outfit I put on, it really don't look good on camera, but in person it looks fine. It's like a like a coffee outfit. These you're not like dripping up when you put these Birkenstocks on. These are for like casual. I'm going on a coffee date. I'm going on a on a uh, uh, going to go shopping real quick. Pick something up. I'm going to get gas. I'm going to a picnic. I'm going to very much uh, chill vibes. Bro. It's just like I'm going to the, the beach vibes. Like, this, these are what these shoes are for. You're not, you're not going, you're not stepping out in these shoes. Like you're about to, you're just, it's casual vibes. Cloudy day today, stepping out today. That's the vibes I'm going for. Um, yeah, they're comfortable. They have a strap, I'll show y'all. They have a strap right here to make it tighter if you need to. I really don't need that unless your foot that fat. Uh, you would really wouldn't need it. Uh, this is the inside. It's actual cow. This is, this is a cow on my foot. This shit was mooing at one point. And then I came and snatched it up, put it on my feet. Shout out to my vegans. Um, it's okay. I don't eat. I don't eat cows either. So uh, I'm sorry for your loss, bro. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't eat beef or pork. So don't come at me in the comments. I do for sure wear them though. I didn't know that these was these was beef before I bought them, but I know now. And I'm. I would. I'm not mad that I purchased them. Come for me if you want. But um, yeah, so um, I, didn't, I didn't know that they were cow. That's kind of messed up. But I mean, everything got to be made from something. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what else you can think about the shoe. I'm gonna show you guys something about the, like the, 
the material, comfy. Oh, the affordable. Uh, these cost like 180. They're not really. They're they're lots a lot for some sandals. I'm not gonna lie. 150 for some sandals, but eating balls. That's what you can do. Um, but I still got them. So because I've been wanting them for a while. These are called the Boston's. Um, they have other options. They have like uh, I'll just show you pictures of the other options that's up there. They have these like the canvas versions. They have the harder versions, which I would recommend. Um, I wanted like a darker color, and like I said, these are actual cow. So like. Um, each one is a different color. Like this one was a cow with a certain diet, so it looks like this. Another one would be a cow with a different diet. So you can't go, like say if you have, you see your friends, you're like, oh, I want that color. You're not gonna be able to go in there and be like, hey, can I get this color? I see my friend had a they'll be like, that, that cow must have had diarrhea that day. I don't know why it's so dark or why it's so light. Uh, each cow is different. So it's, it's kind of like you, like if I cut you up, your skin tone will be different than my skin tone, depending on how much sun and, and and melatonin or melanin is in your body. I say melatonin. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna show you the, the fun part about these shoes. So they finesse me with this, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think they finesse, they didn't really finesse me. It actually helped. So they have this uh, waterproof spray. I actually use this on a lot of my uh, like leather type shoes. Not leather, but like same vibe, like uh, suede type shoes. Uh, this is like just water stain repellent. Like you put, you spill something on it, it's gonna slide off. Um, you should put these on before these your shoes get dirty. Mine's are probably I don't know. They don't. They're not. They don't look dirty, but I'm pretty sure they have dirt on them, so I wouldn't spray no more of this because it takes 24 hours for it to dry. Um, this is like for the cork to get your cork sealed back up. So basically, after a while, if you wear them a lot, this right here starts to like break up. Mine's haven't did that because I haven't had them for too long. But you'll spray whatever this is and it, it'll seal it back up. I actually never opened it, so I'm gonna open it right now. Water stain repellent. Cleanse and refresh. Let's see what this is hitting for. Okay, Let's see what we got going. Hold on. It kind of smell good, huh? Actually, I'm gonna. Ah, I spray too much. Try not to spray it too directly at one spot because you would just do what I just did as a goofy. Uh, hopefully it's not wet. We'll see. It's not too wet. I can't feel it, so that's good. I'm gonna show you how, like the difference between both. I don't know if there's really a difference. I don't know if they did a difference. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna keep this one dirty on the right side. I'm gonna keep not dirty. I'm gonna keep this one like this, and I'm gonna keep this one like not washed, and I'll see by the end of the day. Hopefully, I'll remember. I'm probably not, but we'll see at the end of the day which one is better. But yeah, all right. Um, well, actually, I will remember because of, I'm gonna have to edit this video. So um, when I edit, I will just check and I will record. Deshaun, future Deshaun is editing this video. Go check those Berkies. If you're at work, uh, just wait to post it till you get home. Yeah. Because you're probably not gonna be at work when you're editing this. But yeah, vibes. I hope you guys like the fit. I don't know if you guys seen the fit. If you guys didn't, I'm gonna show you one more time. Oh, I'm falling. What am I doing? I need to, bye. <laughs>